Hi, my name is Jean McInnes. I am the new head of diversity, equity, and inclusion at Mizuho Americas. I started Mizuho about three years ago as a banking lawyer and just recently was offered my dream job to head up our DEI efforts. So I'm very, very excited about that. I, I have to admit to you, I originally thought I'm a lawyer. I practice law. I went to law school for this. But as I thought more about it, I realized this is really sort of getting back to my roots. So this is where I'll start you from the beginning. I was a labor relations major in college. Um, so studying about uh, advancing the world of work and organizational behavior. I've been involved in DEI efforts throughout my entire life and really career. Now I get the privilege of working on this full time. I'm so excited about this opportunity to really make a difference um, and act impactful initiatives that really exhibits the values of this company and our employees. We have such a strong management support. And generally, once I've stepped into this role, so many folks have come up to me and said they want to get involved in these efforts, but just don't know how. It really takes a village and everyone has a different skill set. And I'm really excited to sort of bridge those skill sets and good intentions with really executable actions. The company is very entrepreneurial. Uh, you know, we're, very, we're a relatively smaller shop for an investment bank and, and somewhat new. We're about 20 years old. We're a combination of a merger of three very, very long-standing Japanese banks. So everyone pitches in. We don't focus on silos like you only do this and that's all you can do. We, we all have roles and responsibilities for sure, but we're not limited to them. We really like to hear from everyone. Um, you know, for a time I was the lawyer in the room, but I'm also an employee, a colleague, a woman, a mom, a working mom, you know, a middle-aged person, a person of color, a caretaker. So I'm not just giving legal advice. I'm giving Jean's perspective. We want to be a firm that identifies skill sets and where there's an opportunity you know, we can match that up. And I, I really think my role change is a great example of that. Uh, it's also tied into the Japanese culture of rotations at a company. We don't want to limit folks. We are entrepreneurial in the sense that people can move around and take initiative. You're not locked in. And, and we're very, very open to that. Most people would say their favorite part about Mizuho is the people. And that's definitely true, but I want to add the values of this company. I know this company really tries to do the right thing. It's, it's sometimes hard because the right thing is not always the right thing for everyone, but we do try and we try to be flexible and open. So we really want to try to get to the right place. I think the pandemic really demonstrated the need for that. And, you know, as for the people, we're definitely lucky for sure. Uh, you know, we are a smaller shop. We do, we, we you know, we do take our time to make sure it's filled with you know, the right fit and the right kind of folks. There's a lot of people here that really inspire me. So I, I just hope to do them right and sort of inspire back. And I do think it's a luxury to be surrounded by that. And um, I try not to take that for granted. Mizuho is definitely trying to bridge that gap. That's definitely a challenge for every organization. And we have a number of initiatives that support that. A lot of them were instituted, of course, as a result of the pandemic, but this is the new life, they're here to stay. And we're certainly gonna benefit from that, you know, such as we provided full IT setups for our traders and our corporate teams, allowing staggered commute times, um, also instituted a hybrid work from home program that I frankly think is, is life-changing for most people. Depending on your department, you can work a certain number of days from home. And this has really allowed so much more flexibility to everyone's days, certainly for working parents, but really for everyone. But we also really see the value of in-person contact. You know, having the ability to pop in with a quick question, see more than just head and shoulders on a screen, even just passing by someone in the hallway that you may never have a Zoom with. You don't work with them on a daily basis, but they're part of your company and part of the culture. And, and just say like how you love their shoes and you're wondering where you bought them. You don't get that when you're all virtual. So I really think hybrid is the best of both worlds. Like we have a couple of days in office for shoe chatting conversations. And then you also have, you know, being able to fit work into a daily life. I think that's really been helpful for a work-life balance. My advice for women looking anywhere, really, but especially our company, is really to reach out and make connections. You know, not all women are the same or want the same thing. So wherever you go, you really want to make sure it's the right fit. So I would say connect with us on Fairy God Boss, uh, LinkedIn through our HR department and website. Look up our available opportunities and see if there's something there that interests you. Sign up for an interview, but also interview us. You know, are we small enough? Are we big enough? What do we do to support women? 
are those the things that speak to you or apply to you? And are there women role models that model what you want? Do we lead by example? Are our values aligning with yours and aligning with your personal and professional goals? I do think we do a great job of supporting women, but we're still working on that. Um, we're open to ideas. We want to do more. We need to be flexible to these changing needs. And maybe you want to go somewhere that has a more long established program. We may be too young for you. But if you want to join an organization where ideas are welcomed, you can be on the ground floor of suggesting change and, and ideas, collaborating with a lot of great partners with their own diverse perspectives, and then executing it with very supportive senior management. And then I would say, you know, please look at us. This is what we do and these are the employees we would want.